Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the video on how to add single digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you have just watched the video on how to use a 100 bead abacus, you are in the right place. Let's get started right away by adding two single digit numbers. Let's start with 3 plus 5. In any addition or subtraction problem that you solve with an abacus, you will start by forming the first number in the equation, which in this case is 3 because it's 3 plus 5. So we will move 3 beads on their own. Now that we have the 3, we will add 5 more beads. So 2, 4, 5, and that gives us our number. This number is relatively simple, so we don't have to do much thinking when writing it down, but I will just for the sake of showing you the number. We have formed the number 8 because we have 8 yellow beads, 2, 4, 6, 8. I know that went kind of quick, but we'll try a couple more examples. Alright, we're going to try 9 plus 6. Again, like we did in the first problem, we will move 9 yellow beads over because they are the ten, the 1's beads. So we have 9, and we're going to add 6 to that. We get one, 1 bead over, and this is where having a sheet of paper may be useful. Having a scratch sheet of paper off to the side so you can write down the numbers that you left off with. So let's start over. We have 9. We moved 1 bead over. To remember that, I will write it down on my sheet of paper because that's the number we will need later when counting. Since we have 10 1 beads here, we can move 1 10 bead over because 1 10 bead equals 10 1 beads. And in any situation, 10 beads from the row below equals 1 bead of the row above. So even up here, 10 tan beads equals 1 red bead or 10 green beads equals 1 tan bead. Anyway, since we wrote down that 1 here, we can continue on with that with our number, and we need to get to 6, so we go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that gives us our number that we can write down if necessary. Again, this is an easier one, but later on writing down the numbers will help. Let's start, this is 1, and then we'll go 2, 4, 5. Our number here is 15. And you see that's my 1 from earlier writing it down for my notes. Alright, let's try one last one and then I'll give you some sample equations to try. Let's do, let's start with 3 again. We'll do 3 plus 8. Again, we can count, set 8 beads over to this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We will write down 7 if you need to. I write it down, it is helpful to have. 7, because that's what we left off, we can move one 10 bead over and move the 10 yellow beads over, and we can go 7, 8. So this one, again, isn't that difficult, so we wouldn't need to write it down, but I will just for the sake of showing you guys. And we have the number 11 because there's one green bead and one yellow bead. Now like I was explaining before, anywhere on the abacus 10 beads of the row below equal one bead for the of the row above. So in this case 10 yellow beads equals one green bead. Or for a lower one 10 hundred beads equal one thousand bead. And this will be the same for any addition or subtraction problem. Now I'll give you some sample equations to try. I'll give you 10 seconds again to answer them, but you will likely need more time, so pause the video if you need to. Let's start by solving 3 plus 6. you should have got was 9 and your abacus should look like this. Alright, now let's solve 7 plus 9. Your answer should be 16 and your abacus should look like this. Again, there's my 3 for my notes when I moved 7 over. 
Lastly, let's solve 4 plus 9. You should get 13 as your answer, and your abacus should look like this. You did a great job learning how to add single digit numbers with your abacus today. If you need more help, you can go back and watch this video again, or if you click the button below that says examples, I show you how I solved these three last examples I showed you. I'm James Porter signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.